what happened was is that during the captivity, the mystery religions created a branch of themselves, the Pharisees. And in this next uh, item, which comes from the Jewish Encyclopedia, it teaches us that the Pharisees, which was a branch of the mystery religions, then took over the life of the uh, Jewish people. And, and it says, Phariseeism shaped the character of Judaism and the life and thought of the Jew for all the future. They're, they're known as rabbis. And this uh, piece of documentation is just telling us that the Talmud ranks above the Torah. What's the Torah? First few books of the Bible, and this is very similar to what's happened in uh, the Catholic system where the, the Pope's traditions have become more important than the Bible itself. <coughs> and this article was written for, uh, to be sent out around the world, it was the Jewish Post International Edition. And this is an article by a rabbi, and I won't read it due to time, but he says that if you were born Jewish, you are divine. And this is from another recent Jewish magazine. It's advertising amulets of protection for one's home or office. Now, Back in Frankfurt, Germany, there was a family named Bauer, and they had this hexagram amulet on a red sign to protect their house, and they were named after this sign. In German, this red sign, Rothschild, um, uh, was given to the, uh, the family, and that's how the Rothschilds were named. When I went in and looked at what was going on, I found that, uh, surprisingly, there was a strong, uh, there was just as strong a Scottish contingency in the Illuminati as your Jewish con contingency. And uh, I don't have time to go through all the names here on this clan map of Scotland, but you will see the Kennedys, which is a top 13 Illuminati bloodline. You'll find the Stewarts, who are good friends with the Rockefellers. You'll find the Morgans up here, for instance. Who hasn't heard of Morgan Guarantee? And here are the Sinclairs. They were given a hereditary uh, and, um, leadership of Freemasonry and are members of the top 13, uh, the top 13th Illuminati bloodline, the Merovingian Holy Bloodline. Throughout the world. Satan's empire is built on Gnostic knowledge, okay? Gnostic knowledge is hidden knowledge. There are three words, occult, arcane, and esoteric. All three mean hidden. That is the type of knowledge that these groups claim to have because it gives them an instant power base. And this is the key to seeing Satan's worship around the world. These are five interlocked concepts. This is the key, and I won't go into it in detail, but now you know that there is a key to unlock, to see that hidden underneath all these different uh, religious worships around the world is uh, satanic worship. <clears throat> this is the caduceus. The Illuminati are Gnostics that have a dualistic belief of balancing their good deeds with their bad deeds. That's why some of the greatest philanthropists also, some of the, the uh, biggest Illuminati Satanists, a lot of their good deeds, though, are self-serving. And the Caduceus is found in China, India, and other places in the world. A lot of people don't believe that there's such a thing as satanic ritual abuse. So I got this. This was in a museum. And as is typical of... Uh, of Illuminati oaths, <clears throat> they sign them in blood, and this is an oath to Satan to give you my body and soul and my life. And this was a extremely secret Illuminati castle until I began the circuit. 
This, ca this is the gate, the entrance to a lane that leads to the castle. This castle is near the town of Muno, and it's near the fr French border. It's in Belgium. And the town of Muno is rather strange in itself because the village is connected to the people that run this castle. This castle is used for high-level Mother of Darkness rituals. And when you go down the lane and you go through these huge big doors, and we're not going to describe it all in detail, but anyway, you come to a, a cathedral, you know, a church within this, this castle, and in the ceiling is a thousand points of light. Now you know what George Bush and some of these others are referring to cryptically when they say a thousand points of light. And down in the secret basement of this castle, hidden down there on a daily basis, they take a pregnant woman and they sacrifice her and they take the baby and they sacrifice it and drain the innocent blood from the baby and use that as ink to write in this great white book the deeds that were accomplished that day in bringing in Satan's reign of the Antichrist. <clears throat> now you'll notice it, it, perhaps that right here the Abbey du Orval, that is a very significant abbey for the Merovingian dynasty and it's only about four or five miles uh, from the castle. And it was in this area that King Dagobert of the Merovingians was, was assassinated. We'll see a skull later. The Illuminati adepts learn that they do pathworking of the Kabbalah. They also go through different occult sciences. Last one being uh, vampirism, which is called the Holy Grail. And this is why... Uh, you will see these top Illuminati men addicted to blood. Uh, when someone is being sacrificed, ladies and gentlemen, which is a very horrible thing, the person is terrified and adrenaline is pumped into their body. <clears throat> when you drink that blood, you get the high, the adrenaline high that that person was in. And you, after a while, become addicted to that adrenaline high. There's also a very top secret. This substance, it's called adrenal chrome, and the, just the very existence of it's been kept very secret by these people. If you time things just perfectly right, as the person is being sacrificed, you can stick a needle here at the base of the skull, and if you know what you, you're doing and the timing is correct, you can extract adrenal chrome, which is a very valuable drug, natural drug, on the Illuminati's black market. <clears throat> this is why <clears throat> uh, you will see that, uh, <clears throat> well, backtracking just a little bit, the establishment news media said that the reason why Al Gore carried blood in a suitcase was that he was a hemophiliac. But the truth of the matter is that he's become addicted to blood. <clears throat> and now we're going to uh, discuss very briefly with you. I can get my pen. Point. We're going to discuss very briefly with you the uh, basic policy process within the United States. Of course. As you can see, it's not what the people think it is. We're going to go through this very quickly. This is worthy of maybe a few books. Here at the top, on the international level, on the top satanic levels, decisions are being made. Those decisions are being passed down to <clears throat> the national level. If you go back in the occult world, you'll read... Uh, a man named...